I am Dana. Welcome to my channel. So I, um, this video is kind of to show you my calligraphy journey. Pretty much, I recently, um, like took it out of the storage that it was in. It was in this folder, but it got like, oh, <laughs> it got like really, really chunky. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's like kind of like pulled up in the sides because I had so many things in there. So I finally got myself around making it or putting it in a better, sorry, in a better like organization um, thing. So I found this thing. I like this little binder. Um, I think it's one inch or something. <laughs> Uh, but it's like pretty thin and I thought that that it wouldn't go through like all the things that I did but it went through because I removed some of them that were only swatches or there were like little letters and things like that so um, I have this little binder that is not like a full-on binder is kind of like a paper thing i don't know if you can see that um but yeah so i have my calligraphy or lettering journal sorry journey you can call it a journal maybe i don't know uh but either way this is like the i just finished it and yeah so i just wanted to tell you about it be uh, before i start i i already did um intro to calligraphy video but it was super long ago and i'm thinking of doing another one so if you are uh, interested please comment it below because you know things got get out of my head normally so thank you either way so um i just added an um like a sticker thing um and just just my calligraphy journey sorry this was weird um <laughs> But yeah, so let's just get in here before I do that, sorry. I was using this for my um, textile class in university. And I finished university almost two years ago. So I didn't really have any other use for it. Um, so yeah, let me just... Um, okay, so I have... All of this thing as you can see it's pretty filled up I mean the rings don't have much space left but it's okay for now um, I'm not doing I'm not being as um, good with my calligraphy as I used to be in the sense that I used to um, practice every single day and now I don't that much. This is one of my last ones, so it's it goes from now to before. So let's just get like from all the, all the way around. So um, this is painting. I don't know why you have it here. I did this, but I didn't like it as much. <laughs> so I started out with, I didn't really have any brush pens or anything, and I started out with my aqua um, brush, watercolor uh, brush thing. This is it. It's for like, um, like watercolors, and I started with that. I didn't like it as much i kind of started doing it as you can see i didn't do that good of a job i have been um practicing in a notebook but i didn't want to put this in in my notebook it's already like gone so i'm sorry that i cannot show you from the start but pretty much this is pretty much the start so then i have this when i got my color brush I don't know what it is, but I, um, I want to show it to you because I really loved it when it was like that. I don't know where it is. No, it's not here. But either way, so it's kind of like the same thing as this one, but in black paint. And the paint is already in the bristle, so it's, it's nice. <laughs> but yeah, 
so I started with that one, then I do, and then I did some sharpie things, and then I did some like pieces. Um, I think these are highlighters. I usually use them. They're pretty old, but I used these ones. They just buy for a. Um, I don't know if you can find them because again, this is a long, long, long time ago. And then I <laughs> bought the Crayola Super Tips and I started with them. I also bought the Visaquarel that I still love right now and I have bought two packages of them. If you haven't tried them, I love those for a beginning. Also the Crayola Super Tips, but um, I like the tips of the um, Visaquarel better because it's just a brush pen and... It's just really durable. It's for kids. So, um, I bought this at Office Depot, but I'm gonna link it below. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, and I also used this thing, but I kind of try to use it as a small thing. This is the, this is just says paper mate, but it's like pretty fine. Um, it's not a good quality, but it's good when you're starting. And then I started like realizing that I could do a bi billion things because I saw some videos from Amanda um, Really or Amanda something. Um, I don't know what her name is now. So I used to see her back in the day. But yeah, so I started doing alphabets. <laughs> And then, I mean, with this is all with Crayola. And then I decided to do something weird with, um, like, caps. Um, and then this is where I got my... Kinky. I think this are... I got my Miniso Aquarel brush. And then here I started with my Tombos. I really was so bad as you can see and then i kind of went into the other tumbos of soft and hard and i got some of the weekly lines that i love and they're are so aesthetic but i could never do like the letters nicely so as you can see it's hard and soft these are the uh tumbo fudonosuke brush pens i like them and i can do it them better now but it was really difficult and then this is again the the miniso ones um and then okay oh, i'm going all the way around sorry i think yeah and then I did more of those. I started using, yeah, I know this is so different. I started using my, um, uh, my combos. I only had the, um, pastel and the grayscale, so you're gonna see those a lot. And then I just started them, and then I had a bigger bit of a jump because I, um, I started like practicing with like, a friend of mine. She took like got got some like I got some tips from her, and I love the way that I mean before and after. And I wish they were as good as here, but I mean as as you can see, the little tips are horrible for me, and they still are. And then here, are, um, Crayolas, and I used to do this a lot. And then more <laughs> And then here I made this is for one of my videos when I reviewed the tumbo um and the tumbo in the first packet, the basta one and the grayscale. So I tried to do them with other colors that I had. This is the Tombow, this is the Miniso Acro brush, and then this is the Vasek Morel, and I did that the same with the other ones. So, and then I used to do this a lot, and I, it, I think this really helped me through it all. I used to pinpoint, like, I did two or three of the same letter to see which one I liked the most, like the T here. 
and I totally changed this, but um, either way, I really liked the way that this went. I know I'm doing it backwards, but either way. Um, and the same thing here. This is the Visac Royale. And, and then Tombos. I think I'm, I got it wrong. I think this should be, I mean this, I don't know. I know what happened. So I did this and then I noticed that it was empty on the other side. And I did it when I was like better with it. So I'm sorry. I, I lost the page. Whoops. Uh, I think we were here. Um, yeah. Tombo. Tombos. And I started doing these lines that, ah, oh, they were such a good one. I learned this from Armanda as well. And she told, like, she did a video about, like, intro to calligraphy or whatever. And she said that you had to put three lines and you had to get the first, um, on the first line, the center <laughs> things and then in the top line, top things. And yeah, April is such a good idea to do because um, it's center down, center center up so it's good and then i just did some other ones as you can see i wasn't that good but either way um again with the april i thought that it was such a good thing tombo tombo and then i did this um i found out that you can kind of like blend two together and i loved it and i had kind of like a lot of fun with them and I did do on pencil first, but I wouldn't recommend you to do it. Just do it slowly and surely. <clears throat> um, this is kind of like this. Sorry. So again, I love this because I, I did it for my review. And I don't know if you can see everything that I'm doing. I'm sorry. And then here's when I realized that I was a little bit better. I think, like, in, I love the wiggly things. I mean, this is Visek Royal. All the wiggly ones, I think. Like, just two of these two are Visek Royal. And the other one is Tombo. Um, Tombos, Tombos, Tombos. Visek Royal and Tombos. And then here the same with the lines. This helped me so much, I think. And then this is where I did my intro to hand lettering or, or something lettering. And I wasn't that good, but I really did like some of these. This aquarel, this aquarel, this aquarel, um, this aquarel, Crayola. <laughs> And then, yeah, more lines and more things. And then I started, or I went back to ABCs. And I also, um, I love this quote, practice makes progress. I don't like practice makes perfect because we can never be perfect. And I started doing quotes and weekly lines. I love these. And all the way around and then like some blends and then another one I did this in the in that video and I didn't really know what to do so I added dude I love your lips and I added like a question mark is like what and I used to love Jughead so I did like pretty much everything <laughs> Oh, I love this book. You have brains in your head, feet in your shoes, and you can go oh, in any direction you choose. Um, duck your shoes. And then again, ABCs. I started to do them. I don't know if you saw them, but I started to do them um, like at first. I don't know if I can get that one. Yeah, I used to, to do it like one by one and then I started connecting them and I loved how they looked. 
I love this. Don't judge my story by the chapter you walked on. Oops. And then I started doing um, how I letter in Instagram because I thought that I was good. And I did some of them. I love this book. Don't kiss me if you're afraid of thunder. My life is a storm. I don't remember by who. Um, another ABC. So. And then another ABC. Some lines and more things. Oh, I, um, I used to be, like, a long time ago in a uh, bullet journal, you know, as you saw pretty much if you're, like, an oldie subscriber of, of mine, um, I used to talk about it all the time, and then when I became, like, a working teacher, um, I didn't really have time to do it, so we kind of talked, and I said, I'm sorry, I cannot be here, and they said, yeah, we understand, and we think that you were such a good one but um and I actually deleted the app and I haven't gone there because it's kind of like bad memory I mean good memories but I feel bad about them um so yeah this are all let me put this so it's Chris, Susanna, Jen, San, Laura, Mary, Aeon, Hedda and I don't know if they still are there and then did some weird things. <laughs> I love this. Like I love when I put a lot of things. Oh, I, I can't do anything for here. Um. Then some more lettering with me things. And then here's when I picked it up again, but it still wasn't good, even though I was pretty good. Um. And again with the other one. And then I did here, how I letter, journal, summer, Monday and Tuesday, hello, and journal, but, and hope, and Tuesday, and hello, and then thank you for watching again. Now, I, I really like this one. Power is having a clear idea of what is important. Mm, and again, don't just play story by the chapter you have done. I love that. Um, and then some more lines. As you can see, I have been doing more lines over and over. And then, I mean, it, it's all tombos and with a crow. Um, sorry that I stopped do, saying that. And then I did this for my binder organization video. Um, and I just practiced on horrible paper because I wasn't using tombos. I love the D <laughs> in here. And if I love something, I just mark it. Um, just like I can remember about it. Mm, yeah. And then back to tombos and nice paper. And with a bro. Again, don't do my story with the walk, by, by the chapter you walked on. Because I think, like, I had a time in my life where I was really judged. <laughs> and I didn't feel nice, so I love that quote. Um, things always happen, but you can always make it better. See, I was like really sad about it. Um, awareness is like the sun. When it shines on other on things, they are transformed. And then this is my review of Tombo Muted. I loved these. <laughs> when they're new it are the best. Um, so yeah, Tombos, Tombos. And then I started doing how I letter. Larry Summer Journal again because I never did them and then again with the this thing. I think I wanted to do an Insta TV of this, but I never did. Oh, I love this. So I <laughs> I went into Asian dramas out of the blue with um um, I love so beautiful 
and I started doing quotes about them. So, Provoke Me at Your Own Risk by Chen Zhao Shi. And then, I think that's it. Oh, uh, yeah, I did Zhao Shi and Jiang Chen. And then I, this is my favorite one of his. She has always <laughs> been my judge. And then I also did a little one. Even though you didn't get the letter, I don't know why, but I think you knew anyway. And then I was super in love with him still. Um, everyone thinks she loves me more. Young Chen. Oh, I think it's all over around him. Yeah. Uh, don't be scared to let go and be fearless, peace, in a way, and things like that. And then I did again Flora, Jen, Chris, Ku, Aeon, Aisu. She was a new addition, Diana, or Diane's. <laughs> That's me. Um, Sunny, San, and where's the weather? There's nobody there. And then some other quotes. As you can see, I do love um, doing quotes and doing the little things. <laughs> and also on doing the little things in a very light way. And then again. <laughs> and then I love this quote. That is sure to spend an at a word with yourself. It's such a good one. <clears throat> and this is another quote. Life is too um, Life is too short if you wanna want to do something or <laughs> what? I don't know. But either way. And then another AC. What is yours will find you this was um a quote that i found because of oh, I, I forgot her name i used to love her i mean i still love her but i don't really follow her anymore um i don't know why oh, i think this is i'm gonna put the name of it somewhere here and then another abc i don't know if you are seeing all of these i'm sorry if you're not and then an another a lot of things in paradise, let it be time, you and me, all. <laughs> As you can see, I, I still don't know about my S. Something is weird about that. And then be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Show me your soul, show me the most damaged parts of your soul, and I will show you how it shines like gold. But a regime. And then I started doing here kind of like more K pop ish things because I started loving it. Sorry about the moving. So, <laughs> hello, brother. Love, Kai, Exo, Sihan. Sihan? Sihan? I don't know. But then another little meme that I never released. And then I have. I love things. So these are my favorite bands, Super Junior, and I wrote all of them <laughs> twice. Blackpink, EXO. Okay, Oli, this is my band. Gracias. Sorry. Um. So. Yeah, uh, I, my, my, I'm going to do, uh, if you're interested, I'm going to do a biases list, but two of my biases, biases, I don't know, it's Kai and Sehun, Sehun or Sehun or whatever, I don't know, um, but then a letter with me and then Astro, Astro is my favorite band and my ultimate bias, I think, is Uno. He was my first bias and still is. <laughs> um, and then I got like some key dramas. <sighs> Korea is just so good. Um, 
So, heated Gemma's W. I love W. w. Actually, I did a. Um, uh, if you didn't see it before, I did a um, uh, spread on my bullet journal. I'm just gonna see, see, like, let you see it just for a little bit. <sighs> I love this so much. I loved it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then, yeah. Um, W, my strange hero. I also love that strong girl. Panda Cafe. I think it's Cafe. C A F E. But I don't know why I put it coffee. <laughs> I like with an A. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then my Days Gown and Beauty. That's where I found out everything about <laughs> Unu. And Unu got me into K pop. And yeah. And then clean with a passion for now that I'm actually watching it right now. It's weird because I sometimes don't want to see it because it's really embarrassing in the sense that things happen to them. It's a love story. <laughs> and then my first first love that is the current one I did this today. <laughs> so I'm not as good as I used to be because I stopped doing many of them. Like I think this was my favorite thing. I mean I think this was my golden era, but I don't know, you, what do you think? <laughs> but either way, so that's all that I have for now, and I'm just gonna tell you really quickly, sorry, I'm just gonna tell you really quickly what I love. If you're doing or you're starting to do calligraphy, just like some tips i think that we need tips in our life use a board it's better than using uh, only your t-bone use nice paper please please use nice paper this is opaline this is um let me just show you because i think it's better to show than tell this is by color print and this is the Opaline um, Extra White. <laughs> and there's 100 pages. And it is pretty expensive. But I, you have 100. And I think I have here like 90. I have only used up like 10 or 15. <sighs> but yeah. And it doesn't matter the color that you choose it. Because you can go with Extra White. That is my favorite. Or you can do it in like the beige one that also looks good I think that this is also my oh, no, this, one. this one is kind of like my golden era as well I really like this but either way um you can choose any way you want there's thicker paper and now I'm using a not that thick paper because it's difficult to I mean this is the now and this is the before. I don't know if you can see, like, here how thick this is compared. <laughs> I think it's double of these ones. I don't know. Either way, that's just my tip for you. Um, oh, I'm loving my first first love. It's a Netflix. Go check it out. It's beautiful. It's just one season and it's eight um, episodes. But hopefully they will release it because it's just been released like this week or last week or something uh either way so yeah those are my tips like little mini tips for you the paper and the surface so yeah i just use this thing i just put some paper in here i normally put more than these but i have been lettering a lot so i'm just gonna refill it why not um, so yeah, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you had some fun with me and my old memories um, through all of these. There's a bunch of things, <laughs> but either way. Um, 
Yeah, I hope this left you something. Uh, at least, like, you had fun of me blabbing around and uh, rambling. Or at least you maybe learned something. And I will be doing another le uh, lettering or calligraphy 101 thing. So if you have any questions for me, like how to start, what is the best paper to start, what is the best pen to start, how you can be like guided through or whatever, um, please uh, comment it below because I would love to hear that. Either way, I hope you're having a great day wherever you're in the world. I wish you all the luck in the world and I hope we can see each other very soon. Bye! And don't forget to click the subscribe and click the notification bell to watch all the videos right when I post them. Bye!